Guardians of the Galaxy 2 deleted scene explained by James Gunn. Last night, Chris Pratt stopped by Jimmy Kimmel Live to reveal the new trailer for Marvel's highly anticipated Phase 2 Adventure Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, which has already been a big hit with fans. On Monday, though, Marvel decided to tease this trailer's arrival with a brief yet bizarre trailer preview, which featured a scene where the rest of the Guardians are grossed out by Drax the Destroyer, Dave Bautista, and his eating habits. Thankfully, director James Gunn revealed on social media that scene isn't actually in the movie. The preview, which Marvel debuted on Twitter this past Monday, showed Drax and the rest of his crew sitting around a campfire, with Drax slurping and chewing his food quite loudly, which naturally grossed out all of his teammates. In Drax's true oblivious form, he doesn't quite get the hint when Rocket, Bradley Cooper, and Star-Lord. Chris Pratt, subtly suggest that he finds a more quiet way to eat. One fan reached out to James Gunn on Twitter after the full trailer debuted, telling the filmmaker how awful she thought the Drax preview was. Here's what James Gunn had to say in response. I'm with you on finding the chewing, slurping gross. I found it funny but had hesitations about it. It's not in the movie for the record. James Gunn also responded to another fan who asked if that scene was shot specifically for the trailer, and not the movie, or if it was edited out of the final cut, which the director responded by saying that this particular scene, was cobbled together from existing footage. Since the preview was very brief, there isn't much context given as to why they're all in the woods sitting around a campfire, but even though the scene isn't in the final cut, it's certainly possible that it could be resurrected for the deleted scenes in the home video release. Set to the backdrop of awesome mixtape number 2, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 continues the team's adventures as they traverse the outer reaches of the cosmos. The Guardians must fight to keep their newfound family together as they unravel the mysteries of Peter Quill's true parentage. Old foes become new allies and fan-favorite characters from the classic comics will come to our heroes' aid as the Marvel Cinematic Universe continues to expand. The director also addressed some other aspects of the trailer on Twitter, including the reveal of Kurt Russell as Star-Lord's father. The very first footage from Guardians 2 was unveiled at Comic-Con last summer, which confirmed rumors that Kurt Russell is playing Ego the Living Planet the father of Chris Pratt's Star-Lord. Shortly after the reveal was made, James Gunn revealed in an interview that the Ego the Living Planet reveal was not a spoiler for the movie, which was quite confusing to some fans, since there had been several theories about who this character would be, ever since Guardians of the Galaxy hit theaters in 2014. The director addressed a fan who was upset that this trailer spoiled the daddy reveal. The filmmaker revealed this scene actually takes place very early on in the movie. It happens a few minutes into the movie, is the core emotional relationship. It'd be like making a Tango and Cash movie and avoiding showing cash. The director added in another tweet that the trailer shows almost nothing of substance that isn't from the first 15 minutes of the movie, so fans who think the trailer spoiled too much, don't exactly have a case. The filmmaker's Tango and Cash reference is certainly appropriate in more ways than one, since Kurt Russell played Lt. Gabriel Cash and Sylvester Stallone played Lt. Raymond Tango in the 1989 classic. Sylvester Stallone himself does have a role in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, and while that character has yet to be confirmed, the director added that it was a pleasure to work with the actor. Take a look at James Gunn's recent tweets where he sheds new light on Guardians of the Galaxy 2.